God made everything that I see By His word this world came to be When I doubt I know He's with me Well I know, I know God made everything that I see By His word this world came to be When I doubt I know He's with me Well I know, I know installment of Mystery Manor, discovering the wonderful mysteries that is God and his word. And oh, there's Jimmy. How are you doing, Jimmy? Are you getting along okay? It's a nice, cool day today, isn't it, Jimmy? I hope you're getting some time outside. I hope you guys are getting time outside. Um, and today we're going to be part two of Mystery Manor. Um, and today we're going to be talking about that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they're all three in one, and we call that the Trinity, and we're going to talk about that today in our Bible story. But beforehand, uh, before we do that, um, I hope you guys got your packets um, in the mail from me. If you haven't yet, maybe they're not coming yet, or um, let me know so I can send you a packet of um, some activity sheets and a scripture game that you guys can play um, putting the scripture together. And I'm going to test you on that, okay? So you've had a week to think about our new scripture which is found in Hebrews 11, 6. Jimmy, is that in the Old or New Testament, he, the book of Hebrews? The New Testament? Yes, you are correct. Hebrews is in the New Testament. All right, so I'm going to have you help me fill in the blanks, all right? Can you help me with that too, Jimmy? Okay, so we're going to say, but without, what's the word? That looked like too many syllables. <laughs> the word is faith, right? Faith, but without faith. Good job, Jimmy. No one can please. Oh, yes. Good job, God. Okay, so, so far we have, but without faith, no one can please God. We must, uh oh, we're missing another word. Believe? Yes. We must believe that God is, um, did you say real? Did you say real, Jimmy? Oh, you got that one wrong, but that's okay. That's okay. Don't, no, it's okay, Jimmy. <laughs> it's all right. Don't have to be worried about it. All right. We must believe that God is real and he rewards everyone, yes, who searches for him. Hebrews 11, 6. That's our scripture verse, so practice it at home, and we can do it again next week, and you'll remember it. And so, you guys did a great job with your scripture. Jimmy, 
High five. Yes. <laughs> High five. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right, Jimmy. I got you. I got you. <laughs> all right, guys. So let's watch our Bible story and then we'll come out at the end of the Bible story and um, talk a little bit more. September 12th. Some things in this world are very mysterious. There are many things that no one can fully explain. But today, I am reminded of one of the world's greatest mysteries of all, and I knew I just had to write it down. God is God, and there is no one like Him. He has always been, and He will always be. He knows everything, can do anything, and is everywhere all at once. God does not have a body like a person that we can see, but God is very real. One of the greatest mysteries is that God is three in one. He is one God made up of three different persons. God the Father, God the Son, who is Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. Each of the three persons of God do different things but they are all one God. We see God as three in one at the very beginning of the Bible when God created the world. God the Father spoke the world into existence and God the Spirit watched above the deep dark water. That is why on the sixth day, God said, let us make man to reflect our own image. Another way we know that God is three in one is through Jesus. When it was time for Jesus to come to earth, God the Father sent an angel to Mary with a special message. She would be the mother of Jesus, and he would be God's son. So Jesus was born on earth as a person, just like us, but he was still God. Because he was God, Jesus lived a perfect life and never sinned or did anything wrong. Jesus walked and talked on earth to show us what God is really like and to die for the sins of all people. Today, God the Father is in heaven watching over us and is excited for us to join him one day. Jesus is in heaven sitting next to his Father getting ready to come back to earth again someday. God's Holy Spirit is also in heaven and is not limited to time or space, which allows him to work in our hearts each day to help us trust in Jesus. We can't fully understand the mystery of God being three in one, but we can know that God is real. God is God and there is no one like him. All right, guys, we're back out here um, with Manny. You guys remember this guy? He's gonna help me out this afternoon. Um, so we've been talking about Mystery Manor and the mystery of God and who he is. And today our Bible story was about that he is three in one, God the Father, God the um, Son, God the Holy Spirit. So Manny, true or false, God has always been and always will be alive. True. Yes. Oh, no. We're losing our tents. <laughs> All right, Manny. Uh-oh. That's okay. It's just the weather. Who moved like a bird over the water when God the Father created the world? The Holy Spirit. Yes. Good job. When the angel Gabriel came to Mary, who did Gabriel say Mary was going to have? somewhere on this screen eventually when I'm when we're done here but 
an apple has three parts. It has um, the seeds, the flesh, and the skin. And so when you cut an apple in half, you get to see all the three layers. You see the seeds, you see the fleshy part, you see the skin. And so the skin is like God, because he is protecting us, he's around us, right? The flesh is like God, the son, because Jesus took on human flesh. And the seeds are like the Holy Spirit, because um, through his power, we can grow in faith, just like the seeds grow. So each of the parts of the apple are different, but they're all part of, the, of one apple, just like the persons of God are different, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, yet they're still all God. Um, so it can sometimes be a little tricky to understand that, but um, that is the Trinity, just like an apple has three parts, but they're all one um, thing, um, so is the Trinity. And so I hope you guys enjoy the Bible study for today, or the Bible lesson. Um, tonight we're doing a Zoom call, so I don't know if this is going to be on Thursday or Wednesday. It depends on how quick I can get it on to your parents, but um, if, I hope you're able to join the Zoom call tonight. If not, oh, tonight meaning Wednesday night. If not, you can join us next Wednesday. Um, and so let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for another time we can talk about you, and we thank you that you are um, three in one for us, that you are God, you are um, the Son, and you are the Holy Spirit. And I pray that all these three things, um, God the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, will be over um, all of my Kids HQ friends, and I pray that you'll keep them safe the coming um, weeks, and I pray that um, they are doing well, and in Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, see you next week.